Rain may do some people some good as they start their gardening for the spring season. To tell us more about some tips that could help you out, we have Doug Conley with us. He is from the Botanical Gardens. He's the horticulture director there. So nice to have you this morning. Thanks, Stephanie. It's great to be here. Oh, well, thanks for saying that. Well, you know, we've gone over what you need. We've gone over kind of the cost of what it's going to um, cost you to get started on a garden. So how do we, I guess, pick what flowers we need to put in a flower garden, what vegetables vegetables to put in a vegetable garden? Well, I'd start with the things you like. Okay. What do you, uh, you know, what do you like to grow? What makes you happy? Mm -hmm. What is, uh, for many of us, there's a plant from our youth that we're, we affiliate with why we love the garden, whether it was with grandma at home mm -hmm. or, or the botanical garden. So I, I think you have to start there. But then you also have to know your conditions where you're gardening. If you're at home, uh, shade is not the same on the north side of the house. It is the south side of the house. Uh, and those kind of things. So you really need to take a look at your, your situations and what you want to grow and see if those things match. What if you're a new gardener and you just don't know where to get started? Well, there's lots of resources out okay. there. Of course, uh, uh, Ohio State University Extension is, is one point of contact for, for information. The Toledo Botanical Garden and our programs and our events. Uh, our Mother's Day plant sales coming up and we're going to have all of our plant experts available to talk with, with folks wanting to come through and pick pick plants. Uh, and then, of course, there's all kinds of books. You were talking about the gardening for dummies <laughs> topics and things like that. There's a number of resources uh, out there um, that people can tap into. Now, when it comes to the upkeep, what is the cost for someone there? What goes into keeping up with the garden throughout the spring season? And so on. Well, it's spring in a garden is, is about is, is a dead sprint. It's always cleaning up from the winter and trying to get things uh, prepared. You know, the, the gardening window in, in Northwest Ohio is, is tight. You know, mm -hmm. we start in mid-May mid and, and by October we're wrapping up and things like that. So uh, just keep in mind that make your to-do list, stick to it and stay with it. Uh, rains matter. You can't get anything better than these timely rains and the warm temperatures we have at night. These are great. And as we're looking at some of the video, this is what you all have on hand there at the Botanical Gardens and which are available to be purchased if you want to start off this way instead of using, I guess, just seeds. That's right. Uh, at our spring plant sale, which is Mother's Day weekend, Thursday through uh, Sunday, mm -hmm. you can pick up any of these great plants. We have perennials, we have annuals, we'll have a few trees and shrubs. Uh, and of course, that is a huge weekend for our all garden centers around the area. But uh, come see what we're doing at the gardens and, and look at that. You'll also get to see a preview of some of the display plants that we would have out starting uh, towards Memorial Day weekend. Okay, so again, get out there and definitely check that out. I was uh, kind of blown away and overwhelmed a bit with what you all have available there for you. I do live in an apartment. A lot of other people do too. Say if they want to plant, what do we need to keep in mind, um, I guess, as far as what windows we put these plants by? What do we need to think about? The number one thing for folks growing plants in the home is, is overwatering. Folks tend to put too much water on it. They're killing the plant with kindness. So you've heard the adage of talk to your plants. Well, mm -hmm. the reason that works is because they take the carbon dioxide we're speaking to them with and they convert it to oxygen that we breathe in. So talk to your plant. Don't overwater it. Let it dry out. Well, good to know. There are any other tips that I need to keep in mind? Uh, just enjoy the process. <laughs> you know, that I think I could definitely get on enjoying. Is there any sort of vitamin or any particular... Um, gardening, I don't want to say pesticides, but any things that we can add to the soil to help, I guess, really perk those plants up. It's, it's really about paying attention. Nitrogen is the number one thing if you're looking for green growth. Mm -hmm. If you're looking for flower growth, you're looking at phosphorus. And, and potassium is the third major element that all plants need in a, in a balance. So those need to be in different balances depending on what you're growing. If it's a foliage plant, is different than if it's a flowering plant. Okay. It is different than if it's a vegetable. Well, Doug, as we've already talked about this, you know, um, off camera, I really hope we can have you back because I feel like we're just scratching the surface when it comes to gardening. Well, gardening is a lifetime commitment, so it's, a, it's something we can all do. Any last words you want to leave us with today? No, just again, I say enjoy the process, put your hands in the soil and reconnect. I think that sounds like fun. Thank you so much. All right, we'll stay right here on NBC.